Vasudevayam Reading Srimad Bhagavatam, Canto 1, Chapter 10, Verse 26. Aho alam slaghyatamam yadokalam Aho alam punyatamam madhovanam Gadesha pungsam shibhashyapati Sujanmana chankramane na chanchati. Aho alam slaghatamang yadokulam. Aho alam punyatamam madhubanam. Yadesha pungsam shibhashyapati. So Janmana Chankramane na Chanchati. Aho alam slaghyatamang yadopalam. Aho alam punyatamang madhubanam. Yadesha pungsam shibhashyapati. Sujanmana chankramane na chanchati.
the whole. Oh. Alone. Alone. Verily. Slughat Tamam. Supremely glorified. Supremely glorified. Yado. Yado. Of King Yadu. Of King Yadu. Kulam. Kulam. Dynasty. Dynasty. Aho. Aho. Oh. Oh. Alam. Verily. Punyak Tamam. Supremely virtuous. Madho Banam. The land of Matura. Yat. Because. Aisha. This. Pong Sam. Of all the living beings. Vishabha. Supreme leader. Shia. Of the goddess of fortune. Pati. Husband. Sajan Mana. By his appearance. By his appearance. Chakramanena. By crowing. Chaanchati. Glories. <coughs> Translation. Oh, how supremely glorified is the dynasty of King Yadu, and how virtuous is the land of Matara, where the supreme leader of all living beings, the husband of the goddess of fortune, has taken his birth and wandered in his childhood. Purport. In the Bhagavad Gita, the personality of God and Sri Krishna has expressively given a description of his transcendental appearance, disappearance, and activities. The Lord appears in a particular family or place by his inconceivable potency. He does not take his birth as a conditioned soul quits his body and accepts another body. His birth is like the appearance and disappearance of the sun. The sun arises on the eastern horizon, but that doesn't mean that the eastern horizon is the parent of the sun. The sun is existent in every part of the solar system, but he becomes visible at a set scheduled time and so also becomes invisible at another scheduled time. Similarly, the Lord appears in this universe like the sun and again leaves our sight at another time. He exists at all times and at every place. But by his causeless mercy, when he appears before us, <clears throat> we take it for granted that he has taken his birth. Anyone who can understand this truth in terms of the statements of revealed scriptures certainly becomes liberated just after quitting the present body. Liberation is obtainable after many births and after great endeavor in patience and perseverance in knowledge and renunciation. But simply by knowing in truth about the Lord's transcendental birth and activities, births and activities, one can get liberation at once. That is the verdict of the Bhagavad Gita. But those who are in darkness of ignorance conclude that the Lord's birth and activities in the material world are similar to those of the ordinary living being. Such imperfect conclusions cannot give anyone liberation. His birth, therefore, in the family of King Yadu as the son of King Vasudev and his transfer to the family of Nanamaraj in the land of Mathura are all transcendental arrangements made by the internal potency of the Lord. The fortunes of the Yadu dynasty and that of the inhabitants of the land of Mathura cannot be materially estimated. If simply by knowing the transcendental nature of the birth and activities of the Lord, one can get liberation easily, we can just imagine what it is in, in store for those who actually enjoy the company of the Lord in person as a family member or as a neighbor. All those who were fortunate enough to associate with the Lord, the husband of the goddess of fortune, certainly obtained something more than what is known as liberation. Therefore, rightly, the dynasty and the land are both ever glorious by the grace of the Lord. Dahmakyang Lavati Prabhadanti Kam Vandehang Shigaro Shiyuta Bhadakamaram Shigaro Vaishnavam Sha Shi Rupam Sagajatam Sahagana Vagunatam Nita Tang Kaji Vam Sadvaitam Savadutam Parijana Sahitam Krishna Chaitam Devam Shri Radha Krishna Vadam Sahadana Lavita Shiva Shakaram Cha Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadara Shri Vasudeva Gaur Bhakta Vinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Ram Hare Ram 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 Hare Hare Om 
Aho alam slagya tamam yado kulam, aho alam ponya tamam madurvanam, sadesha pum sam shabashya pati, sajan mana chankrama nena chanshati. Oh, how supremely glorified is the dynasty of King Yadu, and how virtuous is the land of Matsura, where the supreme leader of all living beings, the husband of the goddess of fortune, has taken his birth and wandered in his childhood. Wandered in his childhood. Chankraman is given as crawling. So... Crawling past time. So, for what? Yeah, that's another thing. But as far as crawling goes, in the Bhagavatam, in the, like the seventh chapter or something, tenth canto, they're talking about crawling. But Krishna and Balaram are crawling for a very short time because they are not like normal humans. Um, <laughs> so they crawl for a very short while, but. It's very relishable. So I, I saw, you know, I remembered in the <clears throat> Kusha Krata had put some songs of Gopal Champu and some other songs in the beginning of the Gopal Champu are describing Krishna's crawling, Rajiva Goswami. And um, unfortunately I couldn't find the book, but I did scribble it down somewhere from somewhere. So it's very, I thought it was nectar. Because Jiva Goswami is the topmost poet. So here are three shlokas that I scribbled down about Krishna's crawling. Kinkini gana ranane huidi ruchi dari parajuga charana kutuka bihari. Kinkini gana ranane huidi ruchi dari parajuga. Chalana Kutuko Bihari, which means that Krishna, we can take it Balaram also, but it says <clears throat> specifically, Krishna, you eagerly move your feet with your twinkling ankle bells, tinkling ankle bells, and uh, this way you delight everyone's heart. Kinkini means the ankle bells. So we can just imagine he's crawling with um, the sound. Ranane means the sound. And what is the sound doing? Ridi Ruchi Dari is giving uh, Ruchi Dari. is manifesting pleasure in the heart. Ridi Ruchi Dari. Parayuga Chalana Kutuka Bihari. Kutuka means very eagerly. And the Bihari is pastime. Parajuga, the two feet, and he's chalana, he's moving. Parajuga chalana kutuka Bihari. Akalita jana milane tasmara pashari jananam prati gati chapala bari. So here is describing that he's moving very quickly and crawling to his mother. Fim simply says that. And in this third one, just um, describing well, Go Rasakini Bhavi Panke. It's a very nice meditation. Go Rasa means milk, the nectar from the cow. Go Rasakini Bhavi Panke Laguchari Varana Karana Vad Atichari. Varana Karana Vad Atichari. So he's disobeying his order, the order to stop crawling. And he's slowly crawling on the ground, which is muddy with milk. Muddy with milk. Punky. Punky means mud. And Gorasa is the milk. So we were just hearing that milk is also a, uh, some cure of, of COVID. Some scientists are checking that into that. In other countries, it may not happen here, but don't be shy about taking milk. It may protect you from COVID. <laughs> so they do, they do other types of research in all over the world. So they're discovering that milk is, hopefully that's true because we're taking milk anyway, but we want to take more milk. 
So here in this verse, Aho Alam, this poetic, after all, this is Punya Shloka. Krishna is called Punya Shloka. Devotees are also called Punya Shloka. Punya Tamam, the most auspicious place. So uh, this Matara Mahatmya, the glories of Matara being enunciated. In the Upadesha Amrita, in the, at the end, near the end, by Kunta Janito Vara Madhupari, Tatrapya Soltava. Rupa Goswami is taking us from Vaikuntha directly into the Mathura, and then he's gradually giving us uh, Govardhan and Radhakun like that. So, because Mathura is glorified in many of the Puranas as a very sacred, most sacred, Punya Tamam, Punya Tamam. And although Krishna is also known as the, uh, here in this verse, as Shriyapati, Yagyapati, Bhajapati, Sukadeva Goswami also addresses him as the uh, Shriyapati the, in the same way later on. Uh, this is also Sukadeva Goswami, we can say, in his prayer, so he's speaking like that. Rishabha, and he also describes Krishna as Rishabha. We know Rishabdev, the chief of the, uh, means chief, most important, Rishabha, the supreme leader. So in this purport, Prabhupada is also stressing about If one understands, many times Prabhupada would say, not superficially either. There's a basic understanding. Many times we meet Indians, they say, yes, we know about Krishna, but they don't know that much. They know something. We consider that there's so much to know, Srimad Bhagavatam. Just to study one canto, you can take your whole life and just to study one canto, and then there's 12 cantos spoken. Bhagavad Gita is ABC. Also, this you can read that over. We read the whole Bhagavad Gita recently last week. We chanted it. I mean, there's so many things in Bhagavad Gita. If you say 700 shloka each, shloka is four lines each line, uh, vidya Bhagavata Vidi. So Bhagavata means <clears throat> Punya, most auspicious. Shushu Shosha Dadana Shivasadeva Kataru Chihi. In the beginning of Bhagavata, uh, just before this in the second chapter, described there. Those who are very anxious, eager, to hear, and get, they'll get a taste for this ruchi. Um, we just heard that in Jiva Goswami. Uh, and the more this taste comes, Sanatana Goswami describes it in a way, in uh, Briyad Bhagavatam, to that there's some discussion between meditating and chanting. So he's basically <laughs> not that much different. By chanting, you're meditating. By med- you, know, you might just want to meditate without chanting or something. So he gives the opinion that you'll increase by uh, Shodada, this, this word is used also, Vivardamana. Vivardamana. It's increasing. In other words, you. By reading the Bhagavatam, one increases his taste for Vasudeva Paragati, Vasudeva Parangati. He is the that they must have performed billions and billions of lifetimes of punya to get to the point of playing with Krishna and Vrindavan. Uh, one cannot 
jump immediately, even in Gita, is described, Prapapunyakatam lokan ushitva shaspati shama shuchinam shimitam gehe. If one fails in Krishna consciousness, described here that uh, in this purport also taking birth again, um, but devotees don't mind, like Bhaktivinoda Thakur says, I don't mind taking birth even as an insect if I can get it, the association of punya tirta. Some, he doesn't use that word, but he says a great person. But I don't want to become Brahma if I don't get this association. So devotees are after the association of these uh, great uh, advanced persons. Punya tirta ni shevana. Shinvatam sakata krishna punya shavana kirta. It's telling us that there's no need to go outside for any punya. The final sum total of punya means just this samsevaya, suratoro, the desire tree of service. Uh, this is final. When Prabhupada was uh, approached about this question about punya, the devotees humbly said, well, we don't feel like we did any, any kind of uh, punya. We're not very pious. I didn't come from a pious family. Even Rupa Goswami says humbly that he doesn't come, he doesn't have no pious shubha karma, not prema, shavana, adibhak. One shouldn't think that he's... In one, one or two places Prabhupada says, when he talks about this taking birth, uh, that a advanced yogi, and he... Uh, there's several verses at the end of the sixth chapter describing this situation. Uh, one is yoga brush to bhajayate. Even though one falls from this path, he's never lost. There's no loss of dim diminution. But again, uh, he takes another birth. And after many, samsidao kurunanda, he becomes perfect. So Prabhupada said that if one is very advanced person, and then he can take birth in the family of Acharya, Punya Tirtha. Like Prabhupada said, he considered his father also on the level of, a, of Acharya. And he said he met his Guru Maharaj, we were talking about Srila Bhakti Siddhanta tomorrow, his appearance. Such an amazing, we can hear again and again every time we're hearing about his, how, how great a person he is. And his father is Bhaktivinoda Thakur. So we spend our life just to study the words of Bhaktivinoda Thakur. Porvasanchitai, after many uh, Bhagavad Bhakti, I forget that verse. <laughs> Bhaktis, yeah, yeah, that verse. Bhaktivinoda Thakur quotes it, I forget, but it says, after many accumulation of these pious activities, Sometimes the gopis are even say, thinking that the, the flute has performed some special pious activity. It has chanted some special magic mantra or has gone done some special tapasya because it's getting the association. So we're not averse to pious activity. In fact, uh, Krishna actually encourages pious activity in the 12th chapter. Uh, he, if you can't atai tarapishakto si kartam mad yoga mahasu, if you can't fix your mind, maya vesha mano yimam, directly on me, that's okay. Of course, Arjuna didn't have this problem, but anyone who reads Bhagavad Gita, they'll be encouraged by Krishna. Because Krishna says that if somehow you can't think directly of me, that's okay. You should do your prescribed duties, even in Varnashram. And even if you can't do that, uh, then you can do something. Prabhupada says, even if you do some uh, work for the good of the community or the hospital or something. Of course, generally we, we don't uh, encourage that. But still, Krishna is saying, you do something because it purifies, that even purifies the heart. And so after many, many, if you want to take the slow route, you can do like that. The prophet says, Bahonam Janmanamante, there's so many births, when finally one becomes a jnani, there's so many people who are, who are attracted to Krishna or approach Krishna. Tesham jnani nityukta eka bhakti. The jnani is the, the best. Vishishite is the best. Uh, Udared, he's the most advanced. 
But if one simply remains a Gani and he takes birth again and again as a Gani, Bahunam Janmanamante, Gyanaram Maam Prabhupada. Finally, he'll have to come to Vasudev Ruchi anyway. So Prabhupada said, why waste your time? Don't do that. That's a slow way, you know, touching your nose like... So the Acharyas, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has come. Even he says, Punya Khyati. I'm just doing some pious activity so maybe I can get a little fame. <laughs> so devotees, when they read that, they think Lord Chaitanya is saying this funny thing. It really, it's actually funny if you think that. Mahaprabhu is the source of everything. The Chaitanya Krishna Jagati Paratatang Paramiha is not different from Krishna, yata yata gora padara vinde. Just by <clears throat> meditating on the feet of Krishna, of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, then his love for Radha Krishna will increase, no doubt. And here we're talking about the Vrindavan Dhamma, basically, Matra. But Vrajabhumi Vas, Vrajabhumi is non different. The residents, the associates of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, uh, so there's many descriptions of Matura, Matura Mahatmya, the, whatever applies there also applies in Navadvip. So it's also, there's a system, it's not always followed, but especially, uh, Prabhupada said, we had our Gorpurnim festival. First we would go to Mayapur just to become purified, because in Mayapur, Offenses are not taken very seriously. And then go to Vrindavan. Um, and then, even, we're talking about Bhakti Sananta. And he was, he heard his father, Bhakti Vinod Thakur, saying, actually, I want to build a kutir in Kurukshetra. Because in Kurukshetra, uh, Actually, one time Bhakti Santra said in front of some of his disciples, he said, actually, Vindavan is for shallow people. So some of Bhakti Santra's disciples, they became alarmed. Wow, oh, what's he saying now? <laughs> Matur Vindavan is for shallow thinkers. <laughs> because, he said, the highest paragon, final, uh, when Radharani is in Kurukshetra, but she's saying, Priyaso young Krishna Sahachari Kurukshetra Madita Tatam Sarat. I'm the same Radharani. After a long time, gopis came there during the eclipse and they met Krishna, but Radharani was not transcendentally pleased because there was separation from Vrindavan. So it almost, because so Bhaktivinoda Thakur is saying it, it's just the closest thing in the description is given just like when you um, playing some sports and the, someone's kicking the soccer ball, say, and it just misses the goal. Boom. It's getting so close. So in this way, uh, just before the dawn, it's chilly. So Radharani's feeling this just so close to Krishna, feeling this separation. So Mahaprabhu is giving this very elevated Sometimes I think about how we used to give out these Chaitanya Charmita big fat, like Adi One is particularly a fat book, and give those out to people in the street. They don't even have any clue of anything. <laughs> Never got an Upadesha Mita, Isha Upanishad, a Bhagavad Gita, speak a Bhagavad Gita, and then you, someone would hand them a Chaitanya Charmita. Very, very elevated. So Mahaprabhu is giving this elevated Ujvala Rasam Sabakti Sriyam Hari Purata Sundara Dittikadam And uh, so therefore Prabhupada said, Yes, I've given I've given you your uh, pious credits just by association. Punya Tirti Nishay. Tat Purushi Nishay Vayat. Shukadev gives a similar, again in the sixth, uh, with Prick and Raj is asking so many questions. Adonai Mahabhaga, how can they become fortunate? All these sinful people, how can they become pious? So, so many pious activities are given, you know, digging wells. And there's still some there's pious people. Not everyone's a total demon, but they try to do so many good things. 
then they, if they're doing good things, then they see a devotee in the street or in the Harinam, they think, oh, what's this? Or they take a book because they're doing good. One who does good is never overcome. Nahi kalyana krit kaschit durgatim tatagachiti. That's another sixth chapter, <clears throat> Bhagavad Gita verse. One who does good is never overcome by evil. So there's so many things in Gita about yoga all the way up to the end of the sixth chapter and then becomes the, the middle chapters. Maya Sakta, think of Krishna. And then again, at the twelfth chapter, again, Arjuna asked, so just tell me again, Krishna. <laughs> I never tire of hearing your nectarian words like that. So we never tire and it's always increasing. Who can come to the end? Vivardamanasya. Uh, those who are eager to hear and chant or develop a taste, uh, gradually the sinful activities fall away. All offenses fall away naturally. They don't even stand. The material energy becomes embarrassed, ashamed to stand before such great persons. So these are the punya, <clears throat> punya shloka, punya tirta nisheyevana. The most pious, we could say Prabhupada is most pious, we could say he's pious. so far beyond that, Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Charyas. So they embody, they can give, they can make people pious. Papo tapa nikrintano tanubritam. Six Goswamis. It is said in the Ashtakam, Papa Tapa Nikantano Tanabitam Govinda. How do they do it? Govinda Ganamritai. They pour on them. The songs of Govinda, just like we heard this songs, not very well sung by me, but uh, like Jiva Goswami, his songs. And he's writing Gopal Champu. It's full of shlokas. They're all songs. Some of them are small and bigger. Some of them have two, three meanings, you know, super, super incredible. Um, genius. So these are the song Govinda Gana Amritai, and they're pouring. That's why Krishna says at the end of the Gita, Nachatasma Manusheshu Kaschidme Prikritama. First he says to Arjuna, Don't those who are not austere, not pious, don't have faith, don't don't bother with them. But still he says, but those who preach, Nachatasma Manushe Kaschidme Prikritama. They are most dear to me. So the, the devotees, our acharyas, our prabhads, our bhaktivinodas, our rupa goswamis, our six goswamis, uh, they have given and left so much. It's all nectar songs and um, so much philosophy so we can understand. Otherwise, uh, people are bereft of pious activities. Kali Yuga means Kali Mala Nashanam Kali Ananami Danam Kali Mala Masanam Pavanam Pavanam They need Pavanam to become purified. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu Yuga Dharma Kali Yuga Yuga Dharma Nama Sankirtan He has come with the Sankirtan and he is the embodiment of Sankirtan and Santirtanaika Pitaro uh, here is described in this, this verse uh, Pati the husband, the father so Mahaprabhu has come as the uh, protector of the Yuga Dharma by giving the holy name uh, Sankirt Tanasya, Sankirtanaika Pitaro Kamalaya Taksho Vishvambaro Vijubaro Yugadama. So he's the Vishvambaro, he's Vishvambara, Mahaprabhu is Vishvambara. He maintains the universe. Some words are used here also. Uh, Vishabha, Sri Apati. So also Vishvambara is another word. That he maintains, he's maintaining. So Aisha Atmatma Vadama Dishvaras, Tarimao Dhanamamas, Tapo Maya. There's so many pious activity, tapasya. So by doing this 
Shara Shabdi Vishwas Kohi Sujit in his joy. Krishna Bhakti Koli Sarva Karma Kuto. Doing Krishna Bhakti according to Chaitanya Charitamrita, everything else is accomplished. If one has faith that if I do Krishna Bhakti, I don't need to go do anything else. Shatra Shabdi Vishwas, full faith. Kohi Sudridha, strong faith. Krishna Bhakti Koli Sarva Karma Kuto. All other good karma are done. No need. Yeshan Pantagadam Pap Jananam Punyakama. Tedvanda Mahanamukta. One will naturally lose uh, all affinity in this material. All illusion, all illusion will fall away. Will faint. The glories of material energy will faint away. Uh, and so not much more can be done besides Bhakti Bhaktyaham Akeyadrahya. Krishna says, that's all. There's nothing higher. Krishna, Matak Paratalam Nanya Kinchalasti Dharanjaya Sutra Managanaiva. Krishna says, nothing higher than myself. Matak, like that. And so, uh, therefore, we're going on reading Bhagavatam, reading Chaitanya Charitamrita. We just heard the glories of Bhakti Sanada Saraswati. His favorite book, Chaitanya Charitamrita. Chaitanya Charitamrita, so many quotes in the Srimad Bhagavatam. Glorying, uh, glorifying, Slugya Tamam. This is the business of these great personalities, simply glorifying. Not just glorifying, uh, not just uh, translating or telling, but also giving deep meaning. Sanatana Goswami. Uh, he doesn't go directly to <clears throat> Mathura, but he's showing also uh, Dwarka and uh, Ayodhya in between, in Briyad Bhagavatamrita. But he's, he's making wonderful shlokas, and then again he's giving his own uh, purports to that also. So these personalities can never be glorified enough. To glorify them means to glorify Krishna because all they're doing is glorifying. We don't have any power to glorify, to invent. Some people may be able to. Just like I was looking at these books. I have a big collection of Kushikrata's books. He translated so many books. So, uh, but he also wrote his own slokas. He became, in a very short while, he learned Sanskrit, not from the time of nine years old, five years old, but almost 30 say 29, 28, 29. And then he learned Sanskrit and within a two, three, four, five years he was then making his own slokas. What to speak of someone like Jiva Goswami, Arupa Goswami, Raghunath Das. He's bringing us into his lila. So much glorification is beyond. Vilapa Kusamanjali is glorifying his prayers, but at the same time he's taking us into his position uh, in, in Goloka Vrindavan. So we're, this window is open for anyone who can come. Gradually one can get to this point. One cannot jump, but simply by taking that, the holy name, uh, one gets these realizations, one after another. Okay, so is any uh, comments, questions? Atimachyani Bhagavan. Here Prabhupada mentions superhuman acts just to prove this. Um, that's the last first one. But the super Atimachyani Bhagavan in the first canon one verse describes Atimachyani means beyond this Marchaloka where everyone is dying Bhutva Bhutra Paliyate, again and again. He has to take birth. So when we get this human form of life, uh, it's described in, later in the Bhagavatam, the uh, Basva Teritam, he's getting the favorable breezes of this glorification and it's entering in the ears. Namai uh, Kam Yasha, even the holy name entering once in the ear. Namai Kam Yasha 
purifies, it goes into the heart, purifies the heart. Punya. And one becomes, one cannot immediately go. Someone may be, only hear the holy name walking in the street. He becomes, a, makes some advancement. Next life he may hear it ten times. So this is gradual. It can be immediate, one moment, Prabhupada said, or it can be very gradual. So either way, Vasudeva Kataruchi, one has to develop his taste to hear about it. What was the question? Somebody got a microphone? So, so this idea of the verse, Yeshan Twantakatam, upon that those who have accumulated pious activities in this life and in previous lives, whose simple activities are completely eradicated, they engage in my service with determination. So, but just by performing pious activities, your simple activities are not going to be eradicated, correct? No, according to Krishna, they are gradually because, or else why would he speak the 12 chapter verses that gradually, you know, or even if one becomes a great yogi, then he can go and then take birth in Shuchinam uh, Shimitam Gehe in a very uh, either wealthy or uh, opulent, some type of family, elevated family. So gradually, pious activities, when they get the opportunity. He's not fully developed. That, that, I, I, and every time I read that 12th chapter, I think about that. Or in the, what is it, 68th verse, in the 18th chapter, Shuba uh, Lokan, he can take birth in a uh, very auspicious, pious uh, planet of the pious. So, mm. That he says by hearing this conversation, right? But that's also the, the long way route. So, therefore, but it's, it's given, you can do it. So the pious activities have some effect. Mm -hmm. so what about like the story of King Nirga, where he, <laughs> he was so pious, what is that trying to do? That's saying, yeah, don't go the slow way, you know. <laughs> but that's also Krishna's leela. Yeah. So mm -hmm. that we cannot say, I can't say. I mean, I don't want to become a lizard, but I'd be lucky. If you gave out 10, how many cows? He gave out billions of cow, millions of cows. Thousands, anyway. And then one cow, just think how extreme that is. One cow accidentally, you know, and, and, the, and then he got punished. But Krishna directly delivered him. So that happened also. Was it trying to show that pious activities are kind of, can be kind of dangerous? No, one should always... You know, you don't want to do sinful activity, obviously, but by doing Krishna Bhakti, Krishna Bhakti Koli Sarvatam, then all those things are accomplished. I mean, there are people who are pious. I mean, Prabhupada said he created our... like that, but at the same time, it, when we read about it, then we see that gradually there's progression. It may take thousands. Aho bhata sapacho tagari and yadhi bhagri or those who take the holy name, it's understood. Uh, they have accomplished all tapus, tapas, all types of tapasya in previous lives, and they become as good as brahmanas, aryas, most advanced, aryan. So they've already accomplished in previous lives. No need. So if sometimes you get a, a, a course, I guess, in school, and they give you something, they... they review old work it doesn't mean that you are, you know or the one room schoolhouse and you're teaching so many kids some of them in 10th grade some are in second so some of the stuff in the bhagavad gita might be for those second grade people first grade is kindergarten one schoolhouse is there in bhagavad gita all types of yoga are there yogi nam finally krishna says he gives the conclusion so i probably gave that example of uh, office worker. He's in, in the office with his boss. The boss <clears throat> tells him to do so many things. Go across town, do this. Uh, go here and do that. So next day he says, okay, I want you to take the trash out. And No, no, yesterday you told me to go and do this and that. Why are you telling me now to take trash? No, you're fired. <laughs> because they take the final instruction. So Prabhupada said, the Gita, final instruction, Saradharmam, Mamana, think of me. Give up all your other dharmas. They're all pious activities. Very nice. But give that all up. Ma may come. Just surrender to me. Mamana, Baba, Madhva. 
still so many things are given in Gita. I mean, all that stuff in fourth chapter about, Prabhupada said, we don't say press nose, ha ha, Prabhupada used to laugh at pranayam. I mean, <laughs> but it's given there in Gita, pranayama. So many things are given. Oh, I'd take your whole life just to know how to do it exactly, you know. Like, the way Iyengar is describing, you got a whole big book on it. You can spend your whole day doing but, you know, still there's some effect. It's good for health, Prabhupada said, it's good for health. We don't, but we know that the, it's only a tiny part. It's, it's not, no. The main thing is you, you have a nice vehicle, this body. After many births, in the Bhagavatam later in the, what, 11th, 12th chapter, Tantra. Uh, you've got uh, Surabham Sudurabham. <clears throat> this body is very hard to get and it's very wonderful, so you should utilize it for... Uh, what is it? What's that verse? Huh? Oh, Nridayam Ajam Surabham Sudurabham. Guru Karna Dharam. So you go to the punya, to the guru, and he's the captain of the ship, Guru Karna Dharam, and he will, he will take over the ship and tell you what to do with it. Otherwise, let's say you've got a model ship in a, in a plastic or a wooden something in a box. There's no direction, and you just couldn't do anything with it. So we got this body, but we didn't do anything with it. And it takes a long time to get it, such a thing. And if one doesn't utilize it, what does it say? Then he's a fool. What's Puman what? Atmaha. Then he's killer of the soul. He wasted his time. I was thinking of that. What? Oh, yeah. He, yeah, they say that... Because he didn't listen to Krishna, his feet touched the ground. Right. But his, that's, his feet, no, the chariot or his feet. I thought it was his feet. He didn't touch the ground at all. Was it his feet or the chariot? The Hindu idea or Krishna idea? <laughs> no. The, but because he hesitated, he didn't want... He never told a lie. He never told a lie, but then when he was he said, well, you're supposed to say Ashutama, and then yeah. the elephant... Is, is dead because he hesitated to follow Krishna's instruction then his feet touched the ground but the Hindu idea I think is that no, because that's he, the Hindu idea that is the Hindu idea what's the Hindu idea? Chariot. Hindu idea is that, that he should not be lied and right. Prabhupada didn't say it? Prabhupada said that actually he didn't follow Krishna that's why that's right yeah. the chariot touched right he didn't follow Okay, so you're saying that he's not pious now? No, I'm just saying that if he shows like the supreme, to, to follow Krishna's instruction, that yeah, that's he succeeds it. any... But the Pandavas, in the, in the fifth canto, Pandavas are glorified so much, so we can't say, because what does it say there, that Rajan Patir, Yadunam Bhavatinam, Yadunam, Rajan Patir, Daivam, Kula Patir, Naka, Kinkarova, where Sukadeva Goswami is encouraging Parikamaraj, your grandfathers are the most pious, more pious than anybody. Don't think because you're not born a Yadu, but these Kurus are, you're, so he's saying like that, Krishna himself came to your house your, to uh, Yudhisthira's house. This story. And he was acting as your servant, as your guru, as your more. So we can't minimize Yudhisthira, that's a transcendental pastime. 